Every December, many companies around the country participate in an office tradition to bring the spirit of the holidays into the workplace. Many call this Secret Santa. National Children's Theater also participates in this holiday tradition. But Secret Santa at NCT is not for the faint of heart. And for the first year ever, you get to see all of the insanity, fun, and pranks that happen behind the curtain. You come back here! You come back here! You have a to show you! Each year, actors and staff fill out surveys of their likes and their interests, and then names are drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Santa is upon us! Hey, you want to trade? Huh? You want to trade? Sure. The Secret Santa tradition at NCT is taken very seriously, and participants go to great lengths to maintain their anonymity, while also constantly trying to one-up the other Secret Santas by providing the most fun for their giftees. There once was an actor named Waller, who found water the best thing to swallow. He guzzled it down till a drought made him frown. There's no water left, Waller hollered. Oh, to Sean? To Sean, your All Secret right. Santa arranged this entertainment for you. Ready? Ready. Okay. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and Snoopy's calling you who. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. She will not show up. Oh, it's hard to find your way when oh. snow comes up. Up, up, up. <laughs> There's a happy I love how, like, they did this whole thing over here, and then there's just this clump of. Yes, right where I stand up from my dressing station. It's fortunate this is still intact. Are they all of your shows? They are. Crap, that's a ton of. Them. Wow. That's a lot. I just hear those sleigh bells jingling, <laughs> ring ting tingling too. Yeah. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and Snoopy's calling you who. Oh, are you Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Other secret Santas. I had live entertainment. Wow! <laughs> what is that? What? That's more tuna than anybody can ever want. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Blind light. What do you call a fish with Wall no eye. eyes? Walleye. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A sockless, sockeye tuna. Yeah. Sockeye salmon. Come on, Patrick. You're looking at the answer. It's easy. Fish? What was the question? What does it say? <laughs> fish? What do you call a fish with no eyes? And the answer is? Fish? <laughs> it's still a fish, even though it has no eyes. It's Read, still a fish. Spell it out. F-S-H? What's missing? Oh! <laughs> Scavenger hunts were very popular this year, as Secret Santas would send their giftees on all sorts of quests in order to receive their gifts. Nikki, an actor and weekday usher, was sent on a clue-to-clue -clue hunt that sent her from the lobby to backstage, looking for places and for people as well. Are you a part of Rebel Alliance? I am. I am Red 4. Red 4. I found 4. I had instructions of exactly what she was supposed to say, and... She didn't say them correctly twice, so she had to say them three times. Because <laughs> I follow instructions. Martha, who plays Sally Brown, was asked to be a Cracker Jack detective in her own mystery thriller concerning the disappearance of Sally Brown. Throughout the two weeks, Martha was sent on a Dexter-inspired scavenger hunt of her own. Congratulations on your wisdom. Now you can solve most anything. Your final gifts will be presented in the... 
kill room. Kill room, that's what Dexter calls it. Oh, in the upstairs gathering. She was also asked to call Special Agent Frank Lundy, a character on the Showtime series Dexter, concerning information about the missing Sally Brown. Yes, could you please tell him that um, I have some information regarding Sally Brown? Okay, and your name, ma'am? Sally Draper. How do you spell that? That's S-A-L-L-Y-D-R-A-P-E-R. And your phone number? 615-938. Okay, I'll make sure he gets the message. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm a real federal agent, and I get bothered a lot with this Dexter stuff, so please don't call me again. (laughs) And then there is Jeff, who plays Snoopy. He is infamous during Secret Santa time, putting random answers on his survey, such as Splonk as his favorite color, and favorite scent, fingernail. In the past, his Secret Santas rose to the absurd occasion, and this year is no different. Every day, Jeff comes to his station to find a riddle and rocks. My Secret Santa has... Uh, has decorated my my station with these um, what I like to call them as concussioners. Uh, I've run into them every time I've got up. Bobby here is is really uh, digging the fact that I hit him because he he says it's funny every it's fun time. For all it's, of it's fun for everyone. Uh, this one in particular has a sharp edge, and I found that out yesterday when I jumped up because I forgot they were there. Um, and no bump or blood or anything, but I'm sort of hoping that uh, in, in the show sometime when I sit down and forget that they're there and I stand up, that I do get a big cut and blood pours over my face so I can blame my secret Santa for the kids screaming and the nightmares they'll have for the rest of the time. You see the red here? They painted this to my doghouse because this was on it, Snoopy Go Home. And they taped this to the painted doghouse. And when I ripped the te- tape off, a bunch of the paint came with it. And there was a big gigantic uh, three spots that Amanda had to touch up. So, uh, unless Amanda is my secret Santa, somebody's gonna be in trouble. Many people try to guess who their secret Santa is, but most are unsuccessful. So far, I have eliminated myself. <laughs> <laughs> it just throws a wrench in all the plans. I don't know who my secret Santa is now. I thought oh. I had it narrowed down, but now... I have not eliminated Russ. Yes, I have. Russ is eliminated. They can spell really well. I think it's probably Sean. I've eliminated 20. Successfully. Yeah, that's great, Jeff. Successfully eliminated. Mine is. <laughs> um, and I've... How do you know who mine is? Who are your five? I can't tell you who my five are. Finally, it has come to the last day of Secret Santa, and all of the pranksters behind the shenanigans will be revealed. Get one guess. How many guesses? <laughs> How many? One guess. First gift, ho, 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 is for Sean! Patricia. No! No! It's not Patricia! It was me! Ho, ho, ho! Well, here's what I know it's not Russ, Ari, Catherine. (laughs) And also, they're sneaky because. Even my phone on record while I was on stage couldn't pick them up. I think it's Colin. You are correct. I'm gonna say Kevin. Bobby. No, say I can't. Yes, Martha. Oh, I say Rachel. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Is it you? <laughs> Was it Bobby? It sounds like me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Steve! Thus, Amanda. Yay! 
Taken Don Draper and put him in the kill room because oh. he took Sally. Everybody's going, what? That's disgusting. <laughs> what? A, what? A, oh, you put hair on his chest. <laughs> Twas the Santa reveal, and all through the theater, excitement buzzed round like the hum of a heater. Patrick picked up his gift and prepared for his guest. Guest, but no poem can pinpoint just what happened next. He cleared his throat loudly, he felt like a whiz, and announced in a clear voice, my Santa is... Alicia! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> At the end of it all, the joy of the holidays was spread throughout our company of friends, and everyone went home charged with the spirit of the season. We look forward to sharing more of our stories with you from behind the curtain in the new year. And from our family here at Nashville Children's Theater, we wish your family happy holidays and a bright new year. Hear me, ice cream trucks. <laughs> <laughs> How about ice cream trucks with clowns driving them? That would be pretty.